Good morning. It's Sunday. Welcome to a new video. Hey, this is the car I painted in the last movie. I mounted it yesterday. It's good as new. How good is that? I'm here with my brother. Now we're gonna to try to cut the chassis there with the plasma cutter. Never done it before, so it's gonna be exciting to see. Hola, Morda. Morning. Morning. Here's the cutter. I'm borrowing it from Christian Clausen, a friend of mine. Because it's no chance to drag this out. We actually, we actually have loosened the brakes, if you see here. I cut off all the brakes there and stuff. But anyway, we cannot move it, so we have to cut it in pieces where it is. We are now watering the ground here. Oops, sorry. So, everything is not going on fire. Okay, okay Morten, should we give it a try? Yeah. All right, then. let's give it a try. Give it a try. All right then. So the run is done. I only run 12 kilometers today. Shape is not so good, so I have to start slowly to get back where I was. It's a new week, guys. Oh, this one I forgot to take in yesterday. That's not good. First piece is slipped away. Now I'm gonna take off the tires with this special machine because those bolts are sitting pretty heavy. There we go, this piece is ready to be lifted onto my trailer. It's on, but I want to bring that piece also. Same time here now. Here we go. Not sure if this is going to work out, but uh, let's try. Komena. Uh, it's going. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Yes! I won. Then off with the tires. Now in traffic on the way out from uh, Stan the store. Alright, only two pieces left. Hopefully I manage to drag them to the front too. Need more speed. There we get more speed. Coming. Oh, come on. I won again. Then we're gonna take off these tires too, you know? There's only one piece left now then. My plan is to try to get that one on the same trailer. But this one is a little bit bigger. Let's first of all try to drag it to the front through this mud. This one don't have tires, so this is probably gonna be more difficult. Flat out, baby! Why is it going forward now? Here it going forward. Yes! No problem at all. It's fitting good. Then I can go and deliver this tomorrow morning. Then I'm done. Then it's the complete trailer away. I just gonna try to sell the tires there. Last pieces is uh, going away there now. Today then, I'm gonna cut the end of this steel bracket. Prepare it for Having it inside. Took you to the cutter now, now I'm gonna manage to push this one into this one. Now I'm gonna try to turn it around like that, yes. Here we go then. This is gonna take a while. Oh la la. It's now done cut it. Looks really nice actually. It have those two holes, one here, one over there. I'm now gonna put the tape like this, like that. Then are those holes closed? They were done, now that's a joke. Now I'm gonna take my pencil down in my pants. I realized I didn't film what I was doing. I do like this. Same on this one. Then I'm gonna cut exactly like this. Now I move those over to this steel bracket. I cut it on from the one edge. You guys see maybe? Alrighty then. I do like this. And now we're gonna use the plasma to cut out those rings.
been sanding a little bit with this and now it should be ready to be well done this side is also ready as you can see i made it smaller than the hole that's because now i can get welds down in between down to the middle of this thickness if i made it perfect fitment now we get weld on the top here that will not be so good i'm back to work after a bicycle drive with Finn marcus now it's the time to weld those hose i took a plate underneath there now with those twings then i know this is lying perfectly down on that one then we can weld i think that looks good i melded it good together it's time to weld from this side I am done with the first step of sanding this, this steel bracket. Okay, I just moved this one, the lifter. So it's time to try to get this one inside. Whoops. First one was a little bit too close there. Now it's working out. Put some wheels under there now. Let's see if I can manage to drive it inside now. It's not gonna go off there. La la, perfect. Need a little bit of help here. There we go. Son, easy. I have no measure out, and here is where I'm gonna make the hole. As you saw earlier today, I was out driving truck. I think probably I was driving over this one. I don't know when, but looks so. In this old one, the cable was just tightened into this one like this uh, that's for amateurs the pro guys is doing it like this whoops too much gas there now so now then when you put the cable into that one and you tighten the bolt the cable is not going in thousand pieces to the sides you know now it get really good connection much better than if you don't put this loaded on Seems like boom, it's done, repaired. This was a bitch to get out. You can see it's still, there's a U-block, so it's concrete in the middle. I'm just gonna cut those pins, and it's down. This one had some marks a few places, so I put sparkle on it. Then it's gonna look better. Now then, I'm gonna cut up the floor here. All the way down there, so this steel bracket can get in touch with those. So, it's a little bit difficult to see because of the sun, but I took away much more than what I need because now I'm going to fill this one with concrete. Also put the steel down there. So the metal bracket have a really solid foundation to la lay on because I didn't want to do it straight in the lake of rock because that's not good enough. This is going to be much more solid now. Okay, how to explain this. This is a 60, 60 millimeter thick on there with thick walls these are going to weld there now on top there and that's because i want to have this huge steel bracket 60 millimeter down from this uh talk story these wood pieces so the new roof is coming here going to be on top here and against this one with one one and a half centimeter gap here shadow gap uh yes this is why i'm going to weld on this one now because if I don't put this one on and put this straight to the woods, then the new roof is going to be inside here and it's going to be difficult to make a nice ending and stuff. So I think the result will be much better when I have this one between. And when I weld on the top here now, because of the heat, this huge steel bracket is going to be like a banana. It's going to raise, go like this, a little bit. So now I put those spacer in quite a lot to the center. So now it's is already a little bit like this when I weld. So hopefully then it's gonna be pretty straight when I'm done. I'm done, welded it on. I also welded on a cover there so you cannot see in between the gap and into this one. I'm a little bad situation here now. This floor is only seven centimeters thick. Then it's zero foam. And then it's an old floor underneath there. 
And now when I'm gonna have this one up here, I'm gonna have one support around here, down, and one on the end there. And I'm afraid this floor is too thin. I'm afraid it's gonna crack after a while, in a year or something, you know, when I'm done. So now I'm gonna cut up in the other line there, remove this piece of the floor, and remove the zero form underneath. It's 13 centimeter with zero form. Then I get 20 centimeter down to the old floor. And then I'm going to put the steel and stuff and make a new solid foundation here for these two supports for the bracket in the roof. It's going to be a lot of extra work, but I have to do it to be safe. But this project I'm going to start with tomorrow because now is it uh, over and out. We have cut a hole. Nice, eh? After 15 hours cleaning up, I put those down here. I hit it with the hammer, so I, I know it's a little bit loose. So hopefully now I can just lift it up. I don't believe it's gonna work, but I have to test it out because to hammer this one into pieces, that's pretty heavy work. Hopefully now I can lift it up. If not, I have some hard work in front of me. Oh, it's not working out. My. It was actually almost. I got it up a little bit and it cracked a little bit here for me. So that's gonna make the job much more easy. Time to try again, but now it's future bolt down to the concrete. Let's see if that's helping. Oh, yes. Something is happening here now. Looks like it was working out. I remember wrong, or if not, it's different from inside there to here because here is only four centimeter with zero form in the bottom. But anyway, it's gonna be much better now to fill this hole with metal and concrete. It's gonna be for sure a really solid foundation. There we go. Time to put down new metal armoring. This is a piece I have from before, from an other job. I'm gonna cut off this one and use this as foundation down in the concrete. That should be enough metal down there. I also bored drilled holes into the old floor and put all those in. Also those, so it should be bind really good together now. Now I'm gonna prepare those two pieces. This is the one I cut it. I have to cut those, that was a little bit too long. I have to sand away this old weld. And this is the one I cut it off, the length on this one, you know? So I'm gonna cut it here now. Because those two plates I'm gonna have down in the concrete. So I can weld those supports from the roof and down into those. Those two rabbit ears, I cut it off that one. Weld it onto this one now. So now we're gonna have good support sideways on this one too. I mix it like this today and just, yeah. We have a huge machine too, but I do it with this bottle, it's easier. Take care. Yeah easier almost there it's important to do this to make the beton sink down in every corner you know it's the next day i forgot to show you yesterday but i put those i made down to the concrete as you can see now and i put primer here on this one this morning i'm just done going roller skis intervals and now the boys has arrived niklas <laughs> we're only missing the focus where is the focus? Uh, Surland. <laughs> Surland, that's the dealer with uh, Rådebank, yeah. yeah. That's a television program in Norway, actually, Rådebank. <laughs> Jon, you always say you do polishing and stuff every weekend. Yeah. But my one is more shiny than yours. Huh? Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's uh, yeah, tidy and tidy. stylish. It's more clean inside here than outside, Jon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need to be there. <laughs> like <us. laughs> This looks good. Yeah, perfect. Uh, fantastic. Okay, it's time to lift this one up there. Can we try to take it Yeah, lift it. Lift me higher. Higher and love. Yes, 
There it should be. Any card? Yeah. You sure you want to lend me this car? Huh? You sure you want me to test it? Yeah, it's electric. Okay, let me Field test it. <laughs> let me test it then. <laughs> What's the name of this car actually? The whole car. <laughs> I don't know, it's some kind of a new Porsche, the electric one. Cutting the first supporter. Jon is now in his 3DS. <laughs> you know what you're doing, Jon? You know. <laughs> The boys are doing the normal stuff. <laughs> Working hard? As yeah, a yeah, yeah, looking at the handy. Look here now. Alright. Sunday, I'm actually just standing here and looking at what we did yesterday and enjoying it for a few minutes. But now I'm gonna continue upstairs, but I think I'm still gonna end this video now. The last movie was actually absolutely the best movie I posted in uh, case of viewers and stuff it's number one on my list here on my app so that's good thank you for that and thank you for all the new subscribers lately i hope you like these movies i'll continue posting me eh? i am not out of work before a couple of years so <laughs> i guess movies gonna come for the next couple of years so till then guys have fun and enjoy